this is unreal, right? We're on the 148th floor. Yeah. At Burj Khalifa. It's a little bit windy up here. It right, is. we're out on the balcony. Um, what a view, man. What an amazing view. It's mad, isn't it? AFTV on top of the world, baby. <laughs> 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 hey, you know, I had to do a video up here, right? We were talking about it as we were up here. Which player, and I'm going to put it out to you guys as well, Right, which player has been Arsenal's most influential player this season in the team? And we, me, me and him coming up here on the 148th floor of the Burj Khalifa, tallest building in the world, right? That's what we were discussing in typical Arsenal fans fashion, but that's what we were discussing. Who stands tall in the Arsenal team this season? For you, who's, who's been the most influential player? Like our blood clots, eh? Lacquer? Yeah man, for me Lacquer Black Bacar, he gave he gave um, Alba his confidence back. Yeah, that's that. yeah when he gave him that penalty. penalty. He's got us vital goals coming off the bench. You're I, not the top scorer though. Nah, but the goals he's got in it, Chelsea against Chelsea he scored, against uh, Liverpool he scored. The big games, Lacquer's a big game player. He made it 3-2 mm. against Tottenham. You understand at home, blood. You get mm. me? He's a big game player, blood. And I think the he leads from the has, front, isn't he? Yeah, he leads the press. You understand? He's a leader, bruv. Mm. He don't have the armband, but the way he plays, the way he carries himself, he's the kind of man that when you see like a run, and you're like, blood, I have to run. Because my man's doing a mad thing. You understand? And he's one, he's probably one of our best players, blood. You understand? And I no, think he's world class. He is. He's, he's, How he's not getting into that French? I mean, I know in the French team. You got Donkey top, blood. Yeah, in that French team, they got Mbappe and guys like Griezmann and but stuff But they're like. wingers. You need a, a proper striker, blood. How do you think he's instead of, instead of Lacquer, blood? So I think he still likes that like big guy at the front to just like knock the ball down. To, to, and then to the, the likes of Mbappe and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. But for me, I'd, I'd say Lacquer, bro. Like. Lacquer, I'm going to go... had this season, who'd you go for, though? I'm going to go, you know what? This is going to be controversial. I know already now. Right? <laughs> I know already now. And I think, right... It's going to surprise a lot of people. And someone's going to be very happy. And somebody's going to be very happy. Who's landing today or tomorrow? Is he coming tomorrow? Is it tomorrow? I think he's, he's flying, flying out tomorrow. today, but he lands in the morning or something. I might fly out tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, <laughs> <laughs> Granit Xhaka, I'm going to go for. Do you know, I he's, see uh, uh, listen, listen to this, yeah? yeah. It, I've criticised him sometimes this season. It's because right. he's made inexplicable mistakes when he's not under any pressure. Yeah. However, though, there's been... He's been like that linchpin in midfield. He has been really strong this season. Yeah. He has done a lot of stuff that you don't notice. Mm -hmm. He's strong, he's got a good range of passing. He's starting to show me what he is. I, I used to say, what is Granite Jack? Is he a defensive midfielder? Is he an attacking midfielder? What is he? I'm starting to see what he is and he's kind of a leader. He's got that strength, he's got that power. If he can cut out those mistakes, he's truly going to be a top player. And I think Una Emery's really got the best out of him. Um, and I think I'm going to go for him as being most influential player this season so far. I, I mean, see I why, because when he's not in the midfield, we do look a bit weak. Yeah. You it's understand? A, it, so you know, there's I a lot do. of players you could go for. You could go for Aubameyang, because even though, even though, all right, I know sometimes maybe he doesn't have the contribution of a, a Lacazette, but he's like second top goal scorer in the league. Mm -hmm. He his scored goals. 20 goals in the last five consecutive seasons. Yeah, his goals has kept us where, where we are right exactly. now, right? Yeah. So, you know, you could go for somebody like him. Uh, Torreira earlier on in the season when he was going. Socrates in defence. I, I said that. But Socrates in defence yeah. has been... Because I can't been, go for a defender, because really, leaking, because we've been leaking too many still goals. Suspect. But Socrates has been really, really Leno. good. Leno, you could go for. You know, we're going to put it to you guys. Um, who do you think has been the most influential Arsenal player so far this season? Please let us know in the comments and we want to know your reasons why as well. Don't just say a name, you've got to tell us the reasons why as well. But we're up here at the Burj Khalifa on the 148th floor. The view is amazing. There's a lovely breeze blowing around the building. It's so just, simply... Just one thing missing, isn't it? What's that? Uh, DOE, baby. <laughs> 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 <laughs